Hello, everybody. Well, I've been asked by people, uh, how did I create this assembly to make this heat bleach pad or the stockpile? And I'm just looking at a 3D view of it right now. Let's get started. So here is the corridor assembly that I built. And, you know, I keep it simple because I'm about as sharp as a box of BBs on a lot of this stuff. But really all you do is you start with creating assembly give it a name i'll just um, for all purposes i'll call it temp i'm going to set one down over here and now there's a new one started and then all you all i use out of the tool pa tool palettes over here there's only two things i used link width and slope and link slope to surface and that is totally it so let's let's go ahead and bring one of these in so you can see it uh, it's underneath your generic tab length width and slope i'll pick this and now i will give this and this one if you look at my math there is a little bit of math here it's not complicated they want it to go out every 10 feet at a 1.5 to one slope. So that means you're dropping uh, a foot for every foot and a half. So 10 divided by 1.5 is 6.67 feet. That's, that's all the math I needed. So I will set that parameters of that to width of 10 foot at a slope. And now this is something not everybody knows about it. You can enter it by that a 67 so I didn't have to I didn't have to figure that out but I wanted it at a minus 67 and I have my first parameter now let's go ahead and that's fine let's let's you can either copy or paste this one you can do this copy two I'm going to copy a two the same part here and now this will be my bench. So let's set the parameters of this. I'm going to go out 10 foot. Uh, I'll go a minus two this time. And now that sets that. So that's exactly how I built this. Now, down here at the bottom, I wanted, I, I kind of knew from the height that I could only get three benches here, three flat spots, but I knew that it was going to tie to existing now or to my proposed slope. I use the length width, or I'm sorry, link slope to surface, and it's found in the same exact place underneath your generic tab, link slope to surface. I'm going to pick this, pick this, and now this one, the parameters of this one. I'm going to I'm going to go at a 1.5 to one. And again, I'll make that a negative. And now that's going to tie in my corridor. Let's look at my corridor now that I have already built. So I have my alignment. And I have my assembly. I know the length. This is the complete length all the way around it. We're using that uh that assembly and I'll apply this. Oh, uh, I will set targets. Yeah, don't forget to set targets. All you have to do here is uh, link slope to surface. You want to say, well, I'm going to tie to my, in this case, it's my main basin um, proposed surface right here, your target, set that. And you're all set to go. So as soon as I do that and I update my corridor, then I had this, and that is all there is to it, guys. Um, that is a very simple assembly. It's it's easy to use. There's only a couple elements, and you can ex you can experiment and try other ones. But for this exercise, it's that simple. Enjoy, and talk to you next time.